Family and friends of Tamara Washington were left shattered as they returned tonight to where she and her boyfriend were killed. Police arrested her ex-boyfriend, a convicted murderer who was out on bond in another case at the time of the killings. I'm devastated. My heart is broken. Under the tears and heartache is anger. He will not get away with murder again for the second time. As Tamara Washington's loved ones gather outside of her South Chicago home on Luella near 83rd, family members returning to the scene where Washington and her boyfriend were murdered just days ago. She was a resilient young lady, full of life, happy, love to sing, oh my God. Her voice now forever silenced. Prosecutors say early Sunday morning, Stephen Hawthorne entered Washington's home with a key and went upstairs and shot and killed her boyfriend, Norman Redden, while he was in bed. Court documents say other relatives, including Washington's two young daughters, hid in the house while Hawthorne chased Washington down outside, allegedly beating her to death with a large rock. He was soon arrested after a short chase. I got a little piece, just a little bit. At the time of the murders, Hawthorne was out on bond and pending unlawful use of a weapon by a felon case that stemmed from a traffic stop in January. Back in 1983, Hawthorne was convicted of murder when he was a teenager. State prison officials say he was released in 2017. And them people let him out to kill my niece. I'm on justice. As Hawthorne is now back in custody, Washington's family receiving a sign of hope from above. This rainbow is telling me that her death won't be in vain, that he won't get away with this. We reached out to the Cook County State's Attorney's Office, but we're told they do not comment on pending litigation. Prosecutors say Hawthorne was wearing a GPS monitoring bracelet, which showed him near Washington's home at the time of the murders. Tonight, he's being held on no bond. He's due back in court next month. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.